So tonight I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for me. This is Amsterdam's Prussian Blue Thalo. It is a very, very transparent color. So I've gone ahead and prepped my canvas. Rather than just doing the sides, I've also done the top as well because this is a very, very thin consistency. And the thing that it's going to be different tonight is instead of uh, uh, swiping with colors, I'm going to be swiping with some Amsterdam pearl colors. So I have pearl green, pearl blue, and pearl violet. And let me show you my consistency. So this is the pearl green. I'm not sure if you can see the green flash that happens there. When I, when I layer these colors on the canvas, it's just gonna look like three different colors of white. But as soon as I swipe, the colors will come out. These pearl colors are amazing when you use them on a dark base color. So, um, these, I chose these colors to kind of give us the look of, and feel of uh, like the Northern Lights and the Aurora Borealis, but I'm not going to try and do the, um, the swirly light thing. I think I'll just do, you know, kind of a wavy line here in the center and do the traditional swipe just to see what it's capable of. So we'll go ahead and get started and put the base coat down. Okay, let's start with the green. So uh, this is the pearl green, and I'm going to pinch the cup like this and draw a line like so. There we go. And this is Oh, that's the violet. I'm going to do blue first. So, this is the blue, pearl blue. And then violet. Let's have a conversation 
So this is the result of my test of the uh, Amsterdam pearl colors. Very, very cool. I love the way this these colors just glow on top of that um, Prussian blue base. So I'm going to try and take you in here and show you the color shift difference. So on this side, I layered the green and then the blue and then the violet. And you can totally see the difference. There's the blue, there's the green. The green flashes there at the top. And on the other side, I started with the violet and went to green and then blue. Probably a little better to see on this side, so where it's a little deeper. So violet to green to blue on the outside edge. I think I have, what did I do there? Shoot, messed up my pattern a little bit. But this effect is very, very cool. I really like it. It's very uh, shiny. Very interested to see how this is going to dry. There are some natural cells that popped up here. A few more, I think, in the areas where I uh, dipped my paper towel in the Prussian blue and swiped with that rather than just having a wet paper towel to swipe with and starting in the center. And I did that intentionally because I didn't want to add more paint to the center. It's hard to get rid of paint in the center of the painting when I don't want to tilt. So that definitely helped. Um, I like this orientation better than the other. This looks more like a, a mountain with some Aurora Borealis at the top or something. <laughs> I like it. And I like the fact that my swipe lines, like here and here, don't exactly match. They're just slightly shifted. I like that. So this requires more play, but I'm really happy with this. I hope you liked it too. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And... Stay tuned for the dry results. So here are the dry results of my test with the Amsterdam Pearl colors. 
I think it turned out really cool. I knew it was going to dry very dark because I used that Prussian blue as the background, but I was also told that these paints um, work best on a dark background. So I wanted to test it out and see how it, was, um, how it worked and what, it, what it's capable of. I think it turned out really cool. So um, you can definitely see that this is where the green was. It faded into blue and then into violet. And I think it's super cool. It's very, um, uh, it's like it's got an inner light, like it's glowing. So it's kind of like almost like ghost-like, kind of haunting. I really like it. What a really cool uh, effect. I already have some ideas. Um, so I swiped in two different ways. So the bottom section, I swiped um, with just a damp paper towel, dipped it into uh, the center and then swiped over top of the colors on this side. And you can tell that I layered green, blue, and then you can tell that I layered green, blue, and then violet. And on the other opposite side, I layered violet, uh, green and then blue and uh, instead of uh, dipping directly here and swiping I dipped my uh, paper towel into the base coat separately and then swiped from here out because I didn't want to add any more paint to the center area because I'm not possible to tilt it and I had already used it to swipe down so there wasn't much paint left here um, uh, so that worked out perfectly. I, li I like how it left, uh, it created different effects. And I also layered these colors with a little more uh, space in between them also. So yeah, I think this is very cool. Deserves more um, testing. I have an idea of what I want to try out next with it. But as a test, I think this worked fantastic. Uh, but I also wanted to point this area out right here where uh, where the lines got a little wobbly. This, folks, is what happens when you're using very fluid paints and your table is not completely 100% level. <laughs> so I got a little bit of drift in that area right there. It's okay. It doesn't really detract from the, the full piece. Um, I think it's kind of cool and adds a little bit of kind of organic texture. But if the whole thing had shifted, I might have been pretty upset about that. So I'll have to look at my table. I'm not sure how um, it has changed because it's normally dead on. So I'll have to look at that again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and all of that stuff. Um, leave me a comment before you go. And thanks for um, watching.